Good afternoon. It is 3.30 ish on Tuesday. I'm very sad because I went to start my video on my on my um, other camera, my video camera, and it died. <laughs> so I have to do my phone. <laughs> sad. Oh, the horns are going crazy today. Oh my goodness, she's got the devil in her. Anybody watching? How you doing? How you been? How was your work day? I hope it was gentle. Mine was crazy. <laughs> it's all my boss's fault. I told her she's an asshole. <laughs> I don't care how many iced coffees you buy me. You're an asshole. <laughs> The day started off very smooth. It was like butter. It was fantastic. I actually thought we were going to be done much earlier. Then she gets us in the van after like our, I don't know, our third house or some shit. And she's like, I have something to tell you guys. But I'm going to wait for you to have your seatbelts on. And we're moving fast enough that the car locks. And I'm like... Uh-huh. She says, we have a couple of move-out cleans today. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> she goes, yeah, um, the new hire is quite happy she's not working today. I'm like, mm, uh, is she now? Mm-hmm. Mm All right. She says, guess, guess, guess what we're doing today? Guess who we're doing today? I'm like, Looking in the back at my coworker, we're both sitting there like, uh-huh. <laughs> You're an asshole, I said. <laughs> Just gonna, gonna put that out there. You, you, you are an asshole. <laughs> She's laughing. <coughs> uh, turns out, I jumped to worst case scenario. There's a, like a real estate broker or a real estate agent that does these third party fucking things every now and again. <sighs> and they're always a shit show. They're always move out or move in cleans. And they're always, always an utter shit show. <laughs> we hate it so much. <laughs> That's what I thought she was going to tell me. That is not what she told me. We have a customer whose wife passed away about a year ago. Eh, maybe not quite a year ago. And, uh, he's had his house up for sale for, I don't know, a few months now. It finally sold. So we were doing a move out clean for him. So it was kind of like, mm, not, a, not a fan of any move out clean period, <laughs> but you know, good for him. It'll be really, really good for him. Like I'm like, I'm happy for, I'm happy for homeboy. Awesome. He's, he's a nice enough guy. Like, you know, he, he's been through some shit. Good for him, right? And the and he hasn't really been staying at the... He's, he's got an apartment, whatever. But his kids have been kind of in and out. And then, of course, showing the house, people have been in and out. <clears throat> but nothing's been really used or anything. Like, like it's fine. But because it's a move-out clean, we have to clean inside all the cupboards and whatever like you know wherever furniture was is you know where baseboards and stuff haven't been done quite as well and actually for the last few months they haven't been done at all because they had a mouse problem and before the wife passed away she ordered all these like ginormous mouse traps ginormous um and she had me stick a broom handle in it. She wanted to see how powerful they were. And I was like, oh, like, I am not the person to be doing that shit with. I am so jumpy. <laughs> so she had me stick the, like, touch it with the broom handle. And, of course, it snapped. And the goddamn trap went flying across the room. And I screamed. And I didn't just scream. I screamed, fuck. <laughs> looking at her and she's laughing I'm like I'm so sorry I was shaking like <laughs> had full body goosebumps and my co-worker come running down the stairs thinking like I'd hurt myself because 
I'm me. <laughs> but the homeowner's laughing. <laughs> it was, but these things were huge. And then she, I was like, well, like, excuse me for sounding stupid, but what did you order these for? I was thinking maybe they had some mice in the garage or like around the outside of the house. Like I was hoping and praying. And she's like, oh, I, I was sitting on the couch the other day and they have this fireplace, this brick fireplace. And she said, I seen a mouse running across the brick. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> They're like in the fucking house? <laughs> she's like, oh yeah, I got to put them all in behind the couches and blah, blah. And I'm like, looking at my coworker, and she's like, we're not doing around the couches. Cool beans, because if you've seen what i just seen with this mouse trap, you don't fucking nowhere near, and I work barefoot. Like, no, no, no. My luck, my toe would go in that trap, break my fucking toe. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So we haven't done behind the, the couches and stuff in a good long while. Because every time we go, I, I know where they are, so I look for them, and when I see them, it's like, I'm not going anywhere near it. You can't, you can't pay me enough. Nope. <laughs> so, of course, when we got there today, everything's gone, right? So, it was just cleaning really good everywhere and whatever. Like, it really wasn't that big a deal. The first move-out clean that we did today, so much animal hair. It's one of the, it's, it's one of the hairiest houses that we clean. The amount of pet fur is disgusting and it's actually the dirtiest that I think I've seen it since we started cleaning it it's like they haven't called us in a couple of weeks well probably several weeks but it's like they did everything in their power to make everything as fucking nasty as possible and then called us to clean up their shit I was so mad I was I was so mad I got to the hallway bathroom and the tub was just coated in conditioner like hair conditioner like just globs of it everywhere I was so mad <laughs> and I had to clean up this sudsy mess fucking awesome <clears throat> then I went to wipe down the counter sink kind of area and that had soap all like I, I couldn't see it the it it blended in with the counter so I took my damp cloth and I wiped and of course it got it's all sludgy and sticky and whatever and so I'm like what the fuck is this so I started scrubbing and the bubbles and I was like assholes <laughs> I was so mad <laughs> I literally just took my cloth soaked it with water squeegeed it out all over the counter and just made a big watery mess like fuck all this I was so mad. <laughs> Assholes. God damn it. Whatever. I hate move out cleans. People are dicks. <laughs> and then the wife and the daughter are walking in and out to get their last minute shit. I'm like, really? Because the floors are fucking wet. Have fun with that. I hope you fall and break your face. Twat. I was so mad. I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> God damn it. They wanted their fridge cleaned out. Cool. Whatever. It, it's generally, I don't care how nasty a fridge is. It's usually not that big a deal. You spray it down. You leave it for a minute. Do other things. Come back to it. It wipes right out. Whatever. It's fine. But they hadn't turned the goddamn thing off. Or down at least. So everything's freezing cold. Which does make it harder to clean. But whatever, that's fine. I sprayed it down, I went and had a cigarette, came back, finished it off. Fine. But I couldn't do the freezer because they left the goddamn thing on. So all kinds of ice and shit in there. That's fine. Whatever, I'm... Nope. Sorry about your luck. The new people that move in are getting a nasty-ass freezer. Not my fucking problem. <laughs> assholes. They're assholes. They have this great big stock pot of like goulash or some shit just chilling on the counter. It's like, so we're going to clean the house and, and it's going to smell like rotten meat. That's, that's awesome. I mean, that's all you could smell was like, you know, day old food just 
chilling on the counter. Awesome. <laughs> I hope they don't call us for the new house. Apparently, the new house is bigger. Uh, they Well, the dad said, like the husband said, he wanted a bigger house with pool. Okay. Well, the house they had was quite big. Just in that pool. If it's bigger, <laughs> I, I don't want no part of it. No part of it. <laughs> Get out of here. <clears throat> more, more space for all their animal fur. God. They have an asshole cat. One of those long, fluffy, furry cats that sits up on the counter. So you're wiping the counter and the motherfucker jumps up on the counter with his dirty cat ass everywhere. Oh, bleh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Those were the last two houses of the day, thank goodness, because my arms are pooched. <laughs> oh my god. And I was surprised when I got home to find Monkey home. I thought he had a buddy over yesterday. And he was leaving as I was in the kitchen making dinner. <laughs> he's, he's so sweet. He's like, so, monkey's mom, I'm uh, I'm leaving now. And I was like, all right, well, good to see you, bud. <laughs> Come over again sometime, like, whatever. <laughs> he's like, you know what, on that note, <laughs> is it okay if he comes to my house? And I said, you mean like after dinner or something? Like. He goes, no, 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 but, like, just some other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I work during the day. Is school starting in a week. But, like, you know, I mean, as long as there's no homework. And I don't expect him to sit around the house like a lump all the time. Like, he did it all summer. I don't know why. You want to go to a friend's house? Go to a friend's house. Kid's almost 14 years old. Please get out of my house. <laughs> Just shoot me a text while I'm if I'm at work and be like, you know, hey mom, I'm going over to so and so's house and you know, I'll be home in time for dinner. Cool. That means be home by five. Awesome. Get out of my house. <laughs> That's great. So when I came home and I could hear him playing video games up in his room. I figured maybe his buddy would come back over or something. It didn't sound like video games. It sounded like he was talking to somebody. So I went upstairs and I knocked on his door. And I didn't get a come in or what do you want or I got nothing. So I walked in and he's got his headphones on and he's talking quite loudly. Playing some game online with some people. He's talking to them. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. So I thought you were going to your buddies. No. All right. My bad. You get a coffee and go vlog. See you later. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I was hoping to get my grass cut today. It's it's not too bad out today. It was, I was hot as balls earlier but now that I'm not moving around so much it's not too bad but it is kind of late and I did want to vlog and I can't vlog and do dinner and mow the grass and pick up boo-boo in time I think he works until seven today so that's out it'll, it'll be a Thursday job I'm off on Thursday I have to take monkey to his high school orientation for like 8 30 or something stupid like that I'm not happy and then I got to fuck around and kill time until 1 o'clock when I go pick him up. <laughs> so, weather permitting, I will cut the grass on Thursday, I suppose. <sighs> I was fighting a headache so bad this week, this weekend. Like, the last like three days. I feel fine today, but Friday, Saturday, so four days, I guess, and Monday. Um, 
yeah, just a pounding headache, like the last three or four days. Ridiculous. So I didn't get too much accomplished around the house. <sighs> My brother ended up coming over yesterday. He wanted his mustache and goatee handled. <laughs> <coughs> his facial hair is so thick if it gets more than a 5 o'clock shadow he has to come over for me to take my clippers to him and shave it down before he can take his razor to it it's absolute madness and his goatee was pretty freaking long so was his mustache actually but he sort of shaved everywhere else it looked horrible <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to have that, you need to maintain my guy. But whatever. So I did that for him. And he hung around for, I don't know, a couple hours, I guess. We chilled in my backyard. and He watched me upload a YouTube video. <laughs> Which I thought was weird. I didn't know he knew I had a YouTube channel. <laughs> I think, I don't know if he happenstance to cross it while on the YouTubes, or if my buddy ratted me out, but yeah. So we're, we're, we're talking about YouTube and how all that works. He was semi-interested. I was like, oh. I mean, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about it. All I do is upload videos. Like I don't know how any of the, I don't know how the analytics work. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't particularly care. <laughs> But we were talking about filming because he he wanted to be a not a director, but the guy that you know shoots the movie, operates the cameras. That guy. Well, I guess he kind of wanted to direct too, but so I had my camera out, my laptop, and everything, and I was uploading my video and. He's looking at my camera and I'm like, don't touch it. It's hooked to my laptop. Things will get fucked up and I'll have to kill you. <laughs> don't touch my shit. When it's done doing what I need it to do, I will disconnect everything and I will let you have your look at the camera. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yeah, don't touch my shit. <laughs> I was never good at sharing. <laughs> so funny. So I took him home probably around a uh, quarter to four or something like that. And uh, came home and made dinner for the boys. And I made my, I had these uh, black bean quesadillas for my food bag from last week. Made those up. And uh, by the time I was done, actually, I even got to eat. And then by the time I was done eating, uh, interesting. By the time I was done eating, Boo Boo texted me to come pick him up. So it worked out quite well. But I didn't get anything done that I wanted to get done yesterday. I wanted to get the grass cut and I wanted to clean my house and I wanted to do laundry and. I didn't get any of it done. Not not my brother's fault, but he called me Thursday. He called me Sunday night at like 9.30 or something like that. And asked me about doing his beard and stuff. And I was like, yeah. 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 It's fine. I had a headache anyway. I really didn't give a shit. <laughs> so. Picked Boo Boo up. And I did start some laundry. Actually, I got to turn the last of it over when I get home. I forgot to do that. I put the last load in the wash and the dryer last night. I meant to turn it over when I got home from work and I totally forgot about it. So when I get home, I got to do that and I got to clean up the kitchen from last night and uh, start some dinner for the boys and I think I'm going to make, I have some ravioli to make up from last week. So I'll make up some 
some ravioli. That'll be nice. I do love my pasta. And then tomorrow I can start this week's food bags. <laughs> Unless I get the itch to cook, I'll do some more cooking tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm feeling better today. So I'll get the laundry did and or finished. And uh, probably sweep and swiffer the house once Boo Boo gets home. And then I'll sit down and fold the laundry. Yeah, I'm not cooking anymore. <laughs> I'll just make dinner. Because then I'll have to fold the laundry and I'll probably do that while I watch a movie or something. And uh, hopefully mop my floors. I need to mop my floors. So I can just fuck around for the next couple of days until Thursday and then just cut my grass while I'm waiting for Monkey. Here's me trying to sort out my day. See, vlogs come in handy. You just sort my shit out. Thinking aloud. I have to remember to ask the school about where Monkey's pickup is for the bus, too, because I think that link, I'm hoping the link is broken and there's not something wrong with his Chromebook because my laptop is pooched. I think the battery is fried. It only works when I plug it in, so I, I think my battery's dead. I gotta, I gotta get a new laptop, which is fine. I wanna, I wanna, I want a better one anyway. I want a gooder one, a stronger one, one with more space, more muscle. <clears throat> but I don't want to have to replace Monkey's Chromebook. <laughs> I'm not willing to do that. Me first. So. Yeah, I'm sure I can find that out at school on Thursday. Excuse me, I got hiccups. Anywho, we're we're just over the 20 minute mark. So I'm gonna actually I did want to mention this is gonna go over. My boyfriend's son came home last night from whatever youth detention center he was at. And they actually got home kind of late. I'll bet you it was after eight o'clock. <laughs> When they got in, I guess it takes some time to process out. I think it's like like an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes away from his town. And uh, so he texted me when he got there and was waiting. And then he texted me around 8.30ish when they finally got in. And I said, uh, I said, so you're going to sit the boy down and, and, and you know, lay out the house rules and the behavior expectations and fuck around you're done kind of bolt kind of you know like he says we'll probably do that tomorrow because we're both tired it's been a day whatever which like i totally get he's not going to absorb he's not going to absorb anything anyway but he's definitely not going to absorb it while he's you know tired and whatever I said, all right. I said, but just make sure that you let the boy know. <laughs> let the child know that Jen is not going to be his friend. We ain't friends. We ain't cool. I'm not happy with you. <laughs> I kept my mouth shut last time. I saw the fuckery and I said absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I didn't, e I didn't even bitch to my boyfriend about it. I just kept my shit to myself. Unless I was directly asked anyway. Um, but I told him, I I'm not doing that this time. Mm -mm, that drove me insane. I said, if I see the blatant disrespect, like they had this conversation about the not smoking, right? They no sooner finished the conversation, I was outside having a cigarette. <laughs> and the kid came out and immediately lit up a cigarette. I was like, seriously, bro? Like, I'm sitting right here. Like, you see me, right? Never said a word to him. I did mention it to my boyfriend, but I was like, just just so you know. Just so you know. Deal with that what you will. But I said, this time that's not happening. If I see the blatant disrespect like that for, for the house rules and all that kind of shit, I will be all up and down him. 
all up and down him. He, yeah, yeah. Mama Jen, just saying. I will be treating him as if he is one of my children. <clears throat> do I have your, and, and I had already asked him if I had permission to do that. And he was like, yes, you do. I said, well, you best let him know. <laughs> because he has no idea. He has no clue. <sighs> of the tongue lashing that I am capable of. So. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let him know tomorrow. You best give him a warning. He ain't seen nothing. So. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think he's going to make it to Christmas before he's back in, but we'll see. Anywho, that's about it. Uh, we're almost at 30 minutes, so I'm going to jump. Lots to do. Day is far from over. <laughs> Anybody watching, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Take care of yourself, and we'll talk later.